right. Good afternoon, everyone, again. Um, First order of business is the approval of the February 2nd meeting minutes for the school building committee. Before uh, we do that, I just want to make sure. Mr. Mackey, do we have anybody in the audience that uh, should be pulled in? I do not have anybody in the audience as of yet. Um, I thought I saw a stack there a second. I, have, I don't know if you guys can hear me. This is Victoria. Ben just um, texted me and told me he's in the waiting room. Uh, and Mr. Page might be coming through. I sent him a panelist link, Victoria. He should be able to jump right in. Okay, let me let him know. And I actually just sent him another one like three minutes ago. And just for, um, I just texted him that, just for the sake of getting the minutes accurate, um, would you mind um, just asking who's on virtual? Yes, I, I'm going to do a call, room? but I can do attendance right now if you like. That would be great. So, Mr. Crucial, we have me, Ms. Blair is here, we have Ms. Brown here. We have Ms. Marjan Boucher here. We have Mr. Fenny here. We have Ms. Labar here. Mr. Thompson, Mr. Quimby, and Mr. Christensen. Uh, online, we have Mr. Page. And anybody else? I think just Mr. Page participating online. Okay, I also see Dory. And Helen, and it looks like Ben just joined as well. Correct. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at voting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So, should we resume uh, looking for a motion to uh, approve the minutes? I can make a motion with one change uh, under public participation. Page is P A G E or. Uh, Brown. No, it's just with yeah. that recommended change. Okay, and I'll second. And discussion. Okay. I just asked who the, who seconded the the motion. Uh, Beth Boucher. Okay, thank you. And it was Page P A G E. Yes. Correct. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Motion made and seconded. No discussion. We'll go roll call vote. Crucial? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm a yes. Ms. Blair? Yes. Mr. Page? Yes. Ms. Brown? Yes. Absent. Allie's absent. Martin Boucher? Yes. Mr. Penny? Yes. Ms. Labar? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Quimby? Yes. And uh, Mr. Christian. Yes. Okay. It's passed. Next on the we have no one from the public, so I suppose we can bypass that. Uh, communications update. Victoria. Um, well, I think this kind of goes into a uh, public forum discussion as well. Um, but other than we did meet with the Office of Political Campaign, did I get that acronym right? Um, at our SLT earlier today. Um, and he went over a presentation about um, what the restrictions are in terms of this committee and other um, government officials for what can and cannot be said in terms of the, the vote. Um, ben, maybe you can give a better summary than, than I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, thank you, Victoria. Um, yeah, so we met with um, a gentleman from the Office of Campaign and Political Finance, um, and he went over basically the guidelines that uh, the state has for a um, ballot question committee. Um, we know there's been interests uh, from some individuals about getting this committee started, so he kind of went through 
all the guidelines for that. And we did record the presentation, which is good. There's a lot of useful information and references to his website and where to find specific um, information regarding, uh, you know, using the town's resources, <laughs> what political um, officials can and can't do, like Victoria said. So we'll be sharing that recording um, with you folks. And I believe it makes sense probably to post that to the um, the website as well. But we'll talk about that with your group. Um, but you guys will definitely get that as soon as I get it. Thank you, Ben. So then the next, I guess the next step yeah, is uh, looking forum. at public forum when when it makes sense to have our next public forum. Um, I think in our last meeting, we had thought March was a good time to mm -hmm. target something at the high school. Uh, yeah. What we did find out in this meeting with the um, state office for public campaigns, campaign and political finance, campaign and political finance, um, was that anything that uh, any scripts in terms of a robocall that we might want to put out to remind people to come to the public forum, they would recommend sending it to them first. Uh, and that they said any flyer that we put out as a school building committee should really just be date, time, topic. So pretty much that's what we've done anyway. So we're on track and we're following their guidelines. Um, and then it gets into obviously the things that uh, a ballot uh, question committee might do versus this committee. So with that said, is March still a, a good time frame? Is that what people are, are thinking? I think so. Good question for Dorian Helen. Does it make sense to have the feedback from MSBA in hand before we conduct a public forum? I don't think that that feedback will should hold you up at all. I think the, um, the MSBA comments are not likely to dramatically alter the direction. Yeah. I agree, and they have three weeks to comment, so we should have comments back by, say, the first or beginning of the second week of March. So it doesn't hurt to have them and know what their stance is on anything, but um, I think what we discussed at SLT was the ability to have some very good general range of tax impact information before that forum. Yeah, I understood. Set that to the side just for a second. Um, if we're going to be in roughly that time frame anyway, does it make, I mean, again, having this in our pocket, I'm just thinking of people that have come to a few of these forums and they just, you know, they hear we're doing things. It seems like it might be nice to be able to say we just got the feedback from the report that we submitted, you know, three weeks ago and it's very positive or it's very negative or whatever it may be. But Makes sense. You know, if, if the earlier in the month is better for the event, then so be it. But earlier in the month, I wonder, will we have the numbers on the tax impact? Um, we do have a school, yep, school building committee meeting on March 2nd. Um, that gives Kim Collins a little bit of time to you know, get up to speed. And maybe at that meeting, we would learn more about possible tax impact. And then you know, today we set a, a public forum for a little bit later in the month so that if we need more information or more time, we have it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. Mary and uh, oh, great. The, um, I think you're right, maybe third week. Sorry, Steve, Dory. You, yeah. Your, your comment, the, the comments that we'll receive from MSBA, the written comments, are not likely to be either yeah. highly positive or highly negative. What will be substantial is the FAS. You know, that's always a very big moment. So if you're kind of close to that date, I think you'd have more commentary coming out of the, uh, out of the FAS, um, is, which is that the meeting with MSB. Yeah, that's that's yeah. They're, they're, they're yeah. quite. They're much more verbal about the project at that point, and that's that's a much bigger marker. So. If you're getting close to that date and you wanted to wait, that might be substantial. But I, I think if it's to the project's benefit to have another forum, just even saying here's where we are at the end of PSR, that's yep. that's still good. Do you do you think, Dory, it makes sense to have the forum be you, you think there's still 
sense in having the forum before the FAS where the we're going to get a lot of direct feedback from MSBA um, and then schedule another forum after that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, well, I'm just saying the forum should be decided. <laughs> the forum should be based on what the what's useful to the community process entirely. It's, you know, yeah. I wouldn't worry about the MSBAs. Uh, I'm just telling you that you will have more comments after FAS, but I, again, I don't think that should be a reason to hesitate one way or the other. Um, uh, okay. we, we'll continue to have public forums beyond, but with, right, uh, exactly. Yeah. I am just in, in agreement here and saying you do want to maintain the momentum with the communications and forums. It helps yeah. to build up knowledge about the project. You might not have big news each time, but each time you're going to get new people coming. So, um, uh, you know, we should probably be also mapping out, you know, how many more we'd like to try to have before the actual ballot vote. So, I, I again, in agreement with Dory, we, we're not going to get anything that's going to be earth shattering from the MSBA. Um, but, um, you know, saying that we've gotten the comments, sure, that's that's great. But I still think that puts us in a march time frame i wouldn't keep pushing out to april may june then it's summer okay yeah so would the week of um march 20th make sense that gives us another school building committee meeting on the second as we were saying that gives kim collins uh, a chance to kind of get her feet under her um take a look at not only the budget process for the town but now then take a look at sort of forecasting out uh, what this might look like. Is that, that makes sense? Should we try to yeah, um, we do have, I think we have Mary and, and Kathy Hill now on. Am I right, Mr. Mackey? Yes. yes. Sure. Yeah. Mary, does that make sense if we, um, Kim? Uh, I yeah, know. I think it's, I think it's fine, Gordon. And if Kim is uh, having a difficulty with that, I'm sure she'll let me know and we'll have to um, revisit that. But you know, don't forget the whole budget is due to the council on April 1st. So pushing up to close to that date is crunch time. Uh, so the 20th being 10 days in advance, or I don't know what day of the week you're thinking of. Uh, the only day I guess we would avoid that week, if I have the um, auditorium uh, schedule here, Frank, let me know if I'm incorrect. The 22nd, there's a concert, music concert. Um. I don't have that in front of me, but I know there's one coming up in March. Um, I think we have two because it's uh, music in yeah. our school this month, maybe. Yep. Okay, so, so uh, what if we go the thirteenth? That way, from a, from a sports perspective, that's a good week. We have we have no home games that entire week. So, what about uh, the senior center instead? So, so just yeah, there's a uh, public hearing at the senior center in the auditorium on the twenty first, which is Tuesday. Okay. And a board meeting. Is that uh, planning? And a planning. Yeah. That's planning the 21st? I mean, every every week in March, there is something at the high school. Oh, you have to wait that night. It would have to be I'm just Thursday, probably. And yeah, Thursday night is I'm just trying to get a different population that came here. And I'm wondering if we would get more, more of the senior population in that building because they're comfortable going there. I don't know. Just a thought. Because we're we're doing that through the MVP action grant. I'm doing an update, having a board meeting there the 21st, and then the planning boards after that. Kind of doing that together. Oh, on that day, on the 21st. We've done both. We've, so, done, uh, we've done one at the senior center. We can do that again. Yeah, either one. I think either is fine. I was just throwing it out there as a thought. In terms of trying to yeah. get to as many people yeah. as possible, it's nice to show this building, mm -hmm. but we also want it as as variety of a branch out a little bit. It's a lot. So yeah, and we can decide that. But. Okay, and we can always do another one at the senior center. Do do yep. this one in uh, here, and then the senior center for the next one. Um. Are we staying on the week of the 20th or you want to move it one week uh, earlier, which is the week of the 13th? Sorry. Well, that week might be better, right? The only uh, what you want on it. I was thinking it gives her. Yeah, right. yeah, it gives it gives Kim some time before April 1st. Um, there's a ELHS staff volleyball game, which 
is going on on the 15th. So we want to avoid that. Uh, 14th is most likely going to be spring sports night. Yeah. So it's not um, on there yet. Uh, it says March 8th, spring sports night. Yeah, Kevin's looking to move it. So you, if we could avoid both at the moment, because it's not locked in, but he's looking to move it to the 14th. Okay, 14th, 15th, so yeah, 16th, 16th, Thursday the 16th. And Patrick's Eve. I'm in Florida, but Jamie can cover it. Mackie. Jerry, you take a vacation. Jamie, Jamie will do it, though. I, I, I'm saying that now on the basis of, I mean, that spring sports night. Based on the boss. It'll be sports at that point, right? <laughs> no, sports are over. Can Say it again, Don. No sports that week? No, no. Okay, so she should be. Okay. 16th. Thursday the sixth in the cafeteria yeah. again. Everybody wear green. <laughs> Everybody bring, your, bring your brackets. Yeah. Bring your brackets. What? Kathy, Mary, Frank, does that work for you? 16th? Uh, it should, yeah. It, it looks open. Six. Six p.m. Sixteenth, six p.m. Sixteenth at six. Sixteenth at six. Six. All right. We have a date in the cafeteria again. In the cafeteria. Right. Big screen, Frank. Need the big screen. <laughs> Frank's tired. Right. That's good. <laughs> big screen's tired. Oh, yeah. Well, that's important. Keep it. A couple of good jokes there. I'm just not sure what they are. <laughs> We'd be mapping out another date beyond that for the following forum. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a thought. I think Helen. While we're here, I'm alluding to that. They all good with the 16th. It looks like everybody else is right there now. Yep, cool. We have that. Do we want to do, or do you want to wait till March 2nd and see where we are? I'm going to actually, since I spoke up so, <laughs> so loudly before, yes, I, I think we should keep um, looking ahead. But I, I, I think we also had discussed potentially using the green charrette as uh, an opportunity to kind of pull some community members in and also as a kind of a informational session that's focused on the green aspects of the project. And maybe April would be good for that, but I definitely need to, to check in with you folks, um, you know, both with Dory and at SMMA. So maybe we can come back with some dates with that in mind. Okay. So maybe in, on March 2nd at that school building committee, we we look for the next form and we just start planning now for the 16th. Excellent. Okay. Sounds good. Beautiful. All right, brings us to new business. Excellent. Can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. So we have East Meadow Night at the Thunderbirds on March 4th. Are we allowed to tell people about that forum like as you're absolutely allowed to tell people about have that. a flyer that has the date and time that we could hand out we will we well attended yes we will get a flyer okay um are we allowed to distribute that flyer terms yes yeah. as long as yes. 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 time and place date time and place yep okay. in a very basic generic name of the event public forum school building okay Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to run? Not say vote. No, I know. I know. <laughs> we'll not say that. No. Okay. So that, no, we'll have it by March 2nd so that you're you're ready to roll. Okay. But you can have a conversation and that's okay if somebody yep. asks you questions. Right. Okay. So a parent sure can that. tell others to vote yes, correct? You can say it too. <laughs> you can. Yeah. yeah. As, as an individual, you can say it. Okay. Can't print it. Can't print it on a flyer. <laughs> don't put it on your okay. yeah. Don't put it in. Don't have Facebook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, don't put it on social media. What about the action group? What are, what's the plan for that? Do we have a action for the action group? Oh, we're, we're working yeah. on that piece. Um, we gotta, I mean, we, gotta, we learned today. I'm sorry. Uh, we learned today some of the things we can't do. So, <laughs> for instance, we can't recruit through email, public email. We can't. Right. Right. Um, so it would be more go visit in this room, PTO, or go visit, uh, you know, individuals that might help us start that ballot question committee is what they were calling it. Oh, we can't send emails to find people to be on that committee even. Yeah. I see. So, so we should go to the PTOs then. So if we went, if I went to a PTO president at Meadowbrook and I said, hey, can you get these flyers out to all of your families? You can do that. Okay. 
but they can't be done on any of the school copiers or paper. Okay. The flyers can. Flyers. As long as we don't have a, a, a campaigning piece to it. If it's just date, time, place. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I thought you were sick. No, it's okay. PTOs. I don't know. But the PTOs can. But they can, make can, copies can make, they can make copies and do whatever they want with it. It's so confusing. Yes. It's very confusing. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> PTOs can to the extent that none of them are town employees. Correct. They have to use PTO funds. No, would that count? If they're starting anything that would indicate they're pushing a, a yes vote, that has to be separate funds. And, and the PTO funds. Separate paper, everything. We'll have more information on that. We'll, we'll study up. We just had our first presentation on that uh, today. And then if the PTO is doing it using their own paper, their own time, their own money, they can put whatever they want on it if it's relevant to. So I, I would not give it um, the way I was understanding it. I wouldn't give it over just to a PTO. Right. You actually want to form a ballot question committee. And that group has to file with this office of. Finance. Office of the MA and in political finance. finance. But they can they can put what they want on it, like saying that we need next book is. people to join, PTO. and they don't have to find out. Careful, the meeting's just this and this. They could put down. They can. Yeah, they're on constraint. Okay. All right. I, I don't think they'd be able to do backpack stuffers though, right? No. Nope. No. Right. Can't do it on a, on school property. Yeah. And, and they did say that the organizational form, that M101, has to be filed with the town clerk. Yeah. yeah. Right. The, the formation of the pack. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah. Do the PTOs meet every other month, or how do we know their schedule? You know, um, oh, so Annie would know the schedule. There's uh, Meadowbrook was bi monthly, and Mountain View was every three months. I'm going to, I'll text them now. So we should get on the next, all of them, yep. I would say. Somebody. Okay. They aren't well attended. I'll just tell you that. So if there's, right, but I think a couple of people that are really interested in being involved, yeah. if we could get one or two hooked for that other committee, I think that would be a good place to start. The ones that are probably dedicated, right? Yeah, and I think especially the younger ones, definitely at Meadowbrook. Yeah, yeah, and even Mount Meadowbrook has social media too. Maple Shade. Mount, Mountain View and Maple Shade. Meadowbrook Three has a yeah. March first PTO meeting. Who does Meadowbrook? Meadowbrook. Okay. If I can get on their agenda. All right, so we, we need to get up. I would just add that if there's anything that comes up that is questionable and you'd want us to double check with the OCPF or the Ethics Commission, um, you're, we're, we're happy to uh, send over any questions to them and then report back. That would be great. Thank you, Victoria. Yeah, we're just have one on the 17th. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need, we're going to try to produce a flyer, a very simple flyer, name, date, place, uh, before the second, so that uh, we can hand that out to folks going to the Thunderbirds night and try to get on Meadowbrook's March 1st PTO agenda. Okay. And find out Mountain View and Maple Shades. I just texted them what they are. I'll okay. be happy to go. Okay. Yeah, I would go too. I know we keep saying we're going to do it. We just got to do it. Yeah. Well, especially if it's only every other month or every three months. Yeah. yeah right. Right. We should get the next ones and all. Yeah. Yeah. And even Birchland, and I think we should make the rounds. All five. Mm -hmm. High school doesn't have PTO. Okay. All four. Yeah. Maybe school committee. I mean, school council. That's cool. Yeah. Which Frank is a part of. Yep. It's pretty big at the high school. Oh, that's true. The school council is big at the high school. Mm -hmm. Really big. You do it. Yeah, this committee presented to them back in the fall. I think you go to their meetings. Yeah, we did uh, actually do a, a presentation, you know, for the high school school council back in was it October, Frank? Yeah, it was October. So we can always revisit with them. Yeah, there may be some uh, resident um, employees, right? Resident staff. Okay, yeah. so oh, absolutely, that would have interest in being on that. Perhaps Mountain View is three fourteen at six thirty p.m. and Katie Riley says that um, uh, Maple Shade is Monday virtually. Okay, it might be tough. Uh, well, I guess uh, are there agendas ironclad once? Okay, Monday. Yeah. 
Do you want links for everything? I can get them, Gordon. Um, if, yeah, if you, well, who's the president of? Um, um, so. Uh, I'll, I'll reach out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain View is Barb Bednar's. And Maple Shade is Katie Riley. And Meadowbrook is Amy. I think her last name is Ferez, but I'll have to check. Okay. So this you guys have it because we were talking about the ethics piece earlier. Katie Riley is also a school employee. So I don't know if that's yeah. put her in a tough spot in terms of communicating stuff. Well, we, we can explain what we have to do because I'm a school employee as well. So I'll be I'll be going to that one. But isn't that yeah. isn't a school employee different than a school building member? Not, she can't campaign during school. Oh, during school. Yep. She can't be the treasurer. She of, can't be the you know, like if she if she became part of the an office question committee, she an officer she or treasurer. could not be an officer. Okay. Because she's a an employee. Because she's an employee. Right. Right. Yeah. I think I Terry Eddie might be the PTO. I think she's the one who posted and made the Zoom meeting for the last this meeting. What was the name? Kelly Eddie. Okay. Okay. Gordon, I received that presentation uh, as well, so I'm downloading it. Would you like for me to send it to you to share with the committee, or do you want me just to send it to everybody? You can send it to everybody. Okay, and I'll do that as soon as I download it. I'll probably have to put it in some kind of a, a Dropbox or something like that. It looks like a large file, but we'll get it over to you. Okay, thank you. So I knew we were coming to this point where we weren't going to be able to talk about it, but why all of a sudden is it like because you went to the meeting and you know, or yeah. because we sub were submitting? Nope. It's, it's just because you went to the meeting and you know. <laughs> okay. We've, know. We scheduled the meeting and we had our, our presentation earlier today, and the gentleman went through all the the do's and don'ts. Okay. And um, now we're now you behave much better form, informed. Okay. You know what to do and what to don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Precisely. <laughs> you know what to do and what to don't. Exactly. And who to call if we have questions. Who to call when? Yeah. 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 It's to run a thing by that. <laughs> um, okay, good. Thank you, everybody. And so now, new business. Yeah. Any other new business in the room? Can I, just a question. Um, I know we're there's a lot of different dates for PTOs and different council meetings. Um, it, I'm happy to put together like a table that we I could share on like Google Google Sheet with everyone and um, kind of keep that updated so that um, you know we know which meetings are when. You know, we have a place that it's. Um, it's all there if it's helpful for you all that would be great and actually it, it might be worth victoria um if you put together a table just what we've done to date too yeah in terms of and we started back at the senior center then we did the uh, high school school council then we did a presentation at um meadowbrook's pto and we did the um one at the high school itself i know yeah, Gordon, that uh, prior to all of that national night out. Sorry, if I could, uh, that local actions and approval certification uh, that goes in with the PSR package. Actually, it does that. It's kind of boring. It's like 12 pages long or whatever, but we'll uh, we'll dress it up and put that uh, on the graphic. OK, thank you. So feel free anyone to email me um, when you know of uh, different meetings that I should I should note on there if we don't already discuss it at the school building committee. Victoria.clifford.scanska.com. All right. Thank you. Tom, are you going to raise something? No, just the vote for Kim Collins. That would be the something. I move that we uh, vote to approve Kim Collins as the newest member of the high school building committee. Second. Gotcha. She's still here. <laughs> <laughs> Asleep. Low bar. <laughs> well, you know, it's a bad time of year to start. No discussions. We're we ready. I think we're ready. Okay, Mr. Crucial. Yes. Okay, I am a yes. Ms. Blair. Yes. Mr. Page. Yes. Ms. Brown. Yes. Ms. Hill. Blair. I'm I was just trying to unmute. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, <clears throat> Ms. McNally. She's on mute also. Mary? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay. 
Ms. Marjorie Boucher? Yes. Mr. Fanny? Yes. Ms. Labar? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Mr. Quimby? Yes. Mr. Christensen? Yes. All right. Beautiful. That's Good unanimous. Luck. Good luck, Kim. Oof, I know. <laughs> We're all counting on you. Poor things coming in. Brave for well during you know budget season, it's just so that's a lot. I don't know how you do it. It's a lot. Yeah. And any other new business? Those of you that are remote? No. Nope. All good here. I'm all good. All set. All right. yeah. Any other new business in the room? Seeing none. Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. So we'll meet them all. All right. So Step Ryan, ahead. Ryan, motion to adjourn. All right. And Bruce seconded it. Sorry. Okay. Discussion. Roll call vote. Yes, sir. Crucial's a yes. I'm a yes. Ms. Blair. Yes. Mr. Page. Yes. Page, sorry. Ms. Brown. Yes. Ms. Hill. Yes. Ms. McNally. Is that yes? Okay. Yes. Sorry, I don't know why you can't hear me. Sorry about that. Okay. Ms. Margin Boucher. Yes. Mr. Penny. Yes. Ms. Labar. Yes. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Mr. Quimby. Yes. And Mr. Christensen. Yes. The A's have earned. It's a record. I know. It's a record. Wow. Four thirty. Wow.